Welcome to the Kawartha Small Business Podcast, where we believe the Kawarthas can be the most thriving region in Canada for small business. I'm Brian Rump from Profit Coach. And I'm Matt Garrity of Matty G Digital. And today we are talking about events that will change your business happening this fall at Thrive Coworking Community, um, which is where we're recording from. I forgot to say that part. So Matt, tell us where we're going to start events that change your business. Why the heck is this happening? This is happening because I think that the business owners in Kawartha Lakes deserve to have business events that they can actually learn at least one thing to make money for them at the end of an event, whether it's a networking event or a workshop or seminar or whatever it is. I don't think that those events exist in Kawartha Lakes, and it's something I've observed over uh, the last number of years, uh, and Thrive Coworking Community, frankly, is hoping to change that. Awesome. I love that. I think you're right in terms of you know, those events don't exist. Um you know, we don't want to, we don't say bad things about the other events, um, but I will, you know, we're here to critique them. This is a um, podcast for small business owners. And frankly, there is a reason why some of those events, which I've attended many, I've spoke at many, the rooms aren't full of small business owners. And usually it's because it's not the one thing that you can use today to make money from. Sometimes they're about business, their info about some topics, they're vague, wide spreading. Um, so there are different re- reasons for that. And what happens is we lose the culture of showing up to events mm-hmm. that are valuable. And I think you are trying to bring that here to thrive because it's the place where business owners go to thrive and build their businesses. So that's awesome. I can rhyme off excuses why I think people think that those events are not full of business owners. Um, I don't know if that's valuable, but I frankly think that there's lots of events out there for brand new businesses. Like let's get those businesses started. There's lots of different programs and events for that. Like get started with social media grants and all these other different things, but there's no events out there for business owners that have been in business for a handful of years or more that's actually going to get them from behind their desk working into an actual event. They're just not beneficial. Like a business owner like myself, who's been doing it on his own for five years, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in other ways, it sounds like an eternity. Uh, There's no event that I see that would really make me go, I need to stop making money at my desk and I need to go to this event because I can learn something really valuable that I can make more money from. There's nothing like that exists here. Um, So frankly, like I said, we were trying to change that and change that, not even change the culture. I'm not sure I care if the culture of it changes, but like we're trying to create that culture here. Yeah. Like we truly think these are business events that are really going to benefit your business that are hosted by actual real business owners also. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. They're made to, and when we, you know, we'll get into them in a second, but like the ones I'm doing, it was like, how do I make sure whoever shows up leaves clearly knowing how they're going to make a lot of money from that event. And I think that's exactly why they're going going to change your business. So they're not promising the world, but they're promising a return on investment of your time because, you know, you're right to pause and make time for it, I think is a tough thing. Um, I know most events, you always use the excuse like, oh, it was a bad time. But I agree with that sometimes. And there are times where people might be better or not, but if it's really good, you will make the time mm-hmm. for it, or you will give oh, absolutely that says, "Hey, please do this in the evening, not at lunchtime." Or like, "I want to come, but this versus that's eh, a bad time for me. Like, sorry, I can't make it." If it's good, someone will make time for it yeah. to like develop themselves, hone their skills. You'll make time for it. It's because the program or the event sucks. Yeah. Like a business owner that's been doing it for 20 years doesn't want to leave the counter 
to go learn how to do social media posts. That's not going to make them money. Or to be fair, I don't even know they, they teach how to do the posts. It's more why social media is a thing, right? And that's even vaguer, right? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. And you see stuff. Uh, there was one in the last year that I thought was interesting about cybersecurity. That's valuable. Is that going to like actually make somebody money, though? maybe prevent them from losing some money. But that was one of the more interesting it topics. Could make you money, depending on the business you're in. Because sure. sometimes to earn certain contracts, you need to sure. have that. But, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily know that. Yeah. But I always, like, I'll still use the example of Greg Nisbet. And, like, if he was with, re- us. <laughs> with us, but, like, if he had heard of an event of, like, hey, come over here and – Look at how to do these Instagram posts to grow your business. He would, he would swear at you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Like he doesn't care about that. Yeah, he would rather pay an expert to take care of that. Think about Liz from Kathy Allen or something like that. She's got a thousand things going on every day. She's not going to leave her office to come to a meeting about social media posts yeah. or the two and a half, three hours about grants. Yeah, right. Like. They need to know how can they actually make more sales. I feel how like can you're they... attacking my level, uh, my grant expertise. No, I'm not. I don't mean like I don't. Well, mean... To be fair, I've done a lot of talks locally about grants. I never made a dollar from them <laughs> because the wrong audience wouldn't show up. It's not for startups and different. You know, it's more nuanced. Other talks I've done, I've made money every time audience but yeah but i go it yeah like i'm not gonna go into a room for an hour or three hours to listen to a bunch of other people talk about grants and how important they are and yes they exist and this is how you do them like just sign me up and get me a grant then i don't want to hear about the opportunities there's services out there go do them like i want to know how can i improve my cash flow how can i make more sales how can i get found easier when people search me on Google? How can I improve my sales specifically? I know Instagram is like, is useful. I know I should be using Insta like social media. Don't tell me I need to use it. It's not useful. Yeah. So like we are proactively trying to create that culture. Awesome. All right. So tell me about the grant. Tell me about the events. (laughs) Well, first of all, Brian's doing a three hour lunch seminar on grants. Just kidding. I am not because that is uh, not the market for grants. Yeah. I'll run through these. I'll do September's like rapid fire. Then we can talk about them. Then I'll do October's talk about them and so on. So September, we've got September 14th, Getting Sales for Business Owners Who Hate Sales by Brian Rump of Profit Coach. September 18th, we've got Monday Mindset for Business Owners by Hillary at State of Mind Hypnosis. And then September 25th, we've got Monday Morning Hot Seat um, by us again, Kortha Small Business Podcast, and I'll be moderating that. So Awesome. So yeah, do you want to talk about briefly about getting sales for business owners who hate sales? Yeah, well, I think this is a great topic. I think this is useful because in my almost five years on my own of doing Managy Digital for marketing, the biggest concern that comes up from almost everybody from a sales perspective is that they're uncomfortable selling. They're like, well, I, I like doing videography, but I don't want to sell it. Yeah. Or like I've got this nursing um, this dementia care type of business. And I just want to help people, but like, I don't want to sell. And it's fascinating to me that that is, um, a, a mindset for people. And I think it's really important for people to get over and just a way for you to be able to teach them how to like get out of their heads. Awesome. Yeah. Cause I also hate selling. So I stopped selling and instead I invite people into a story where they are the hero. So I'm a business made simple coach, use um, frameworks uh, from business made simple. And this is going to be a workshop that contains uh, the keynote of uh, the customer is the hero, which is a framework that you can use Um, in that we're going to change your your paradigm, give you some skills, talk about what to talk about in a sales email. This is going to be a workshop in that 
at the start, if people don't come armed with an opportunity in front of them, I'm going to have their business think about, you know, an email they got to send or a pitch they have to send, and we are going to practice it mm-hmm. right then. Um, I did this last or two weeks ago with a client. This week we followed up and um, they used it rudimentary, you know, mm-hmm. not practice, not perfect, but they like, hey, I did my best to follow it. They um, turned a inquiry into a bigger sale. Mm. So basically the people wanted something that was about a thousand bucks. They sold something that was 3000 bucks from their first try using this thing that I'm going to teach everyone. (laughs) So in terms of walking out with money, my goal is everybody leaves having made or had a way better chance than they have before of making a sale or something to show them that this is a pattern or framework that works. And the good news is it's not salesy. It's not gimmicky. We're not tricking people. We are inviting people into a story where you're giving them permission to buy the thing they want to buy Mm -hmm. anyway. So we're going to go through all that. It's going to be a good event that way. Um, Some of my coaching colleagues have done this in front of big groups. Mm. Uh, Donald Miller, the founder, did it with like a big corporation. He had everyone there open their laptop. All it was on the sales force. And then they did some stats and they they made $3 million in an hour (laughs) of people who got yeses to opportunities using the framework. So we're going to try to recreate that magic and, you know, it could be an event that changes your business. That's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, I think that's just going to be great because like most people are scared of also sales training and they just don't want it to be gimmicky, but this is actually just yeah. going to give them the tools of like, here's how I actually should do some sales. And I promise you, I will not ask you to sell me a pen that I hand you. <laughs> so it's going to be different than any sales training that you've ever experienced in your life by me who most people would say, what that guy is doing sales training. And yeah. that's exactly why you should come. That's awesome. Uh, that's September 14th at 7 p.m. Um, September 18th at lunchtime, doing the Monday Mindset for Business Owners, again with Hillary of State of Mind Hypnosis. Uh, her hypnosis practice or program, I guess center, if you want to call it that, works with hypnosis on all different types of levels like anxiety, quitting smoking, bad habits, limiting beliefs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, And her and I have always talked about like targeting towards business owners in a way to unlock and harness a lot of those skills. So um, she is the expert of hypnosis. So I'm not going to go into a lot more detail other than that, but I think it's just a great way for you to come here. And I don't even want to say adjust, but improve your mindset from a business perspective. And I think that's something we always talk about. About it's business a buzzword. Owners. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, there's a mindset. It's like, oh, I have the right mindset. I have the right mindset. But yeah. I know for me, rolled my eyes at that stuff for so long. I think we even did a, probably some podcast stuff about it. Um, it's true. It, there's a lot about mindset, but with the right guide to kind of teach you what that means, um, like this is another one that's going to change your business. Mm-hmm. I know it's changed my business, some of the things I've learned. Mm -hmm. from Hillary and um, it's going to be a good one. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but I did a session with Hillary once where we talked about what thrive looks like, like being super successful. And I envisioned what it looked like. And the next day was the busiest thrive ever was. I'm not kidding. Yeah. So (laughs) yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, a really good one. Still to this date was maybe still the busiest it's ever been with people through here, which was really cool. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. That's awesome. Uh, we've got an episode with Hillary. I forget when, but a number of months ago, if people want to check that one out too, like talk more about her and um, understand a bit more about hypnosis because I think that was a really good episode too. Yeah. So awesome. That's September 18th at noon. And then September 25th, uh, 9 30 in the morning, right after our typical Monday morning coffee, we got our Monday morning hot seat, which was originally your idea. Um, and I know a little bit about it. 
but I know enough about it to know that it's pretty cool. And I'm going to run with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So the idea of that one is basically to bring in a group of people, whoever shows up, um, get them around the boardroom table and frankly, pick and choose a business that's going to be in the hot seat. We did talk internally that hot seat was maybe a bit scary. I think I liked that word because it was a bit kind of scandalous and a bit scary, which it maybe should be. The whole idea is then to pick a business that has one problem that we need to fix and the group of people basically just hash it out and talk about it, yeah. bringing together our different experiences from different businesses and sectors and industries and being able to come out of that conversation, A, solving the problem for that one business owner, but at the same time, I'm going to hear different ideas from other people yeah. brought up that will even resonate with my own business. So I think it'll be useful for everybody. Yeah, it's a great way to just intentionally collaborate with people who want to be there and want to talk through things. You don't have to take the advice, but it is just a way to get all of that um, uh, different perspectives. I think being a business owner can be really lonely mm -hmm. and we don't often reach out about some of these problems or issues or just something we want a different perspective on. And you can just feel better leaving. The room. Even if it's, Hey, here's the problem. Here's what I was going to do. Maybe you get something new or better. Maybe you get nothing that's better. And you're like, man, my original solution was really awesome. Now you're going to leave wanting to solve that. So again, it's going to change your business when you walk out the door. Yeah, so September 25th, 9.30 in the morning for probably about an hour. Uh, October, we've got, again, a business event every single week that we think is actually going to benefit your business. So October 5th, two easy ways to get found on Google in less than 60 days. October 13th, Kawartha Small Business Podcast Anniversary Party. The week of October 16th is Small Business Week. We will have a business event every single week weekday, Monday through Friday, October 26th, seven ways to stop wasting money on marketing. And then October 30th, Monday morning hot seat, again, with a different business this time. So. Awesome. It's exciting. All right. Two ways to get found on Google in 60 days. That's you. I'm You're giving away your gold. I'm giving away my gold and it's not really giving it away. It will be so powerful. I sound like Trump, but it's going to be so powerful. Like you are so good. It's going to be so good. I'm going to bring the best people. I did this similar last year. I did a couple different ones, one of which was a live coaching. And that one was really successful. We had a lot of people here for that, but they didn't really even know what the live coaching was where I brought up their website and I literally told them what to change. And they, no one knew that that was going to happen, even though I explicitly said it in all of our marketing. Anyways, yeah. um, we're basically going to do that. I'm going to start with a little presentation. I'm going to explain to you, yes, there's hundreds of ways to rank a website. There's over 280. Uh, we do not need to be scared of all of them. There's two things that we can change, and we'll see an immediate effect that will rank your website in less than 60 days. I think this is critical. This is my ivory tower or this is my i don't know what the word is like hill that i'm going to die on this is your mr holland's opus yeah i don't know what that means but yeah <laughs> i'm going to die on this hill telling people the next couple of years in kawartha lakes that the demographics are changing the old boy club old boys club is closing down not everybody is going to find your business because of word of mouth the people that are moving here are going to turn to google and they're going to search for the services and products that you sell. Yeah. And you have to show up on Google for you to grow your business. Um, I can help you do that. And it's not nearly as scary as you've heard. So Yeah, that's awesome. That's October 5th. Uh, October 13th, of the Small Business Podcast Anniversary Party. Maybe Ooh. not something that will literally benefit oh, your business. going to change your business. <laughs> I think, uh... This is the only one where I was like, do we add something else that week? But... I'll let you go. Yeah, I, I, it's a little bit funny to talk about it. How will it change my business? You know, we have a uh, couple episodes that we've already run about why you should sponsor the podcast, why you should be a guest on the podcast. I think 
you know, we have Monday morning coffees with the podcast. So getting involved and in coming to those events, this is going to be one where we're inviting every guest we've ever had. We're inviting hopefully guests we would like to have on. We're uh, showcasing uh, some podcasts. We're going to talk about some of our future plans for the podcast. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about what podcasting could do for your business, how we can help with that. Um, but it's going to be a party because it's about connecting. It's about community. Um, so I think it's something that will change your business. Like you're going to come, you're going to learn something. You're going to connect with someone there. It's going to have a positive impact. For sure. It's going to open your mind to another marketing channel, podcasting. It's going to explain how it's been valuable to us. It's going to be a fantastic low key, low stakes networking event. Yeah. And frankly, like we don't need to talk about it now. I think I want to do an episode about the party next month, but um, party. basically just patting ourselves on the back for the podcast. Yeah. It's something that uh, we've grown. We are the top 1% of podcasts in the world based on number of episodes and consistency. That's wild. I'm so proud of that. We've you know, recorded and produced consistently for three years. Very few people ever do that. The average is seven. I think we're not even near our tipping point yet in terms of people who know we exist. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people who will like binge listen and then reach out to us. Yeah. Um, and I think just podcasting as a medium is a great way to get in touch with people. Uh, it's continues to grow. It's almost, it's uh, tied radio in certain demographics. So there's reasons to use it for your business, but also just support us and support all the businesses we have on here. We are the biggest podcast in Kawartha Lakes. Are we the biggest podcast in Kawartha Lakes by far? Oh, I believe so. Yeah. We have to be. Who else would be? Yeah. I, um, Is Dave still doing his supper one? I don't know if that, I think that's a, it's Advocate's not a consistent gone. one. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh there's a few different ones people have that are, you know, a few episodes here and there. There's the um, uh, Capital PTBO. Yeah, I was going to say the Peterborough people that we uh, heard about. You know, yeah. That's a pretty slick, pretty cool production. Maybe that one's bigger. Are we bigger? I I don't really know. Or I, I don't we'll really Pause the recording until I find out. <laughs> <laughs> we are not pausing recording. Um, but I think we... Uh, you know, no, so I looked at this. We're bigger. I remember this now because yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> But yeah, it's a, just a great, I think it's just a great thing to celebrate. And we've done it with, you know, basically you and I bootstrapping it. Um, so bootstrapping it with always a plan to like take it seriously and move it and like understanding why we were doing this. Yeah. And I, th I don't know. It's, it's paid off for sure. I talked oh, to yeah. someone yesterday that listened to the podcast yeah. and like, it's just, it's a constant thing. Yeah, it's a so, constant thing. It's a way for people to get to know you and I yeah. before or even during. I know some of our cl mutual clients have gone back and listened to like the whole catalog and it just reinforces that, you know, these people know what they're talking about. Yeah. In not a bro way. For sure. Right? Like, um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. Yeah. Friday night, October 13th. Uh, bring gifts. Friday the 13th. Nice. Yeah, I thought about that. That can't be good. But. I think that's fine. <laughs> You're welcome to bring gifts. I'm not going to tell people not to bring gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Small Business Week is the week after, October 16th to 20th. Um, no details on the events yet. All those are to be announced. I will obviously be doing some sort of marketing one. I'm super critical of the events that I do, that they are beneficial to people, though. Um, I'm not going to do like some ridiculous marketing overview. I'm not going to teach you how to, to use Canva to create a post. I'm not going to create more work for you, but I'm going to show you something, the power of some sort of tool, how it can actually get a sale for you, whether it's going to be getting found on Google, whether it's email marketing, uh, et cetera. And I think I like talked to you conversationally about this. We don't have the details, so I won't say what it actually is yet, but I think on the Friday, I'm going to announce something I've been toying with for a while in regards to Thrive taking over something big. Awesome. That's exciting. We'll yes. leave that uh, <laughs> teaser. Um, I wanted to do them that week, but it's not going to happen. 
I'm going to announce that we're going to do them and then do it properly. But I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> I think yeah. you, probably, you might know. We talked I about it exactly five minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, October 26, seven ways to stop wasting money on marketing. I was nervous that this was me because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here, but this is yours. Yeah, this is mine. <laughs> yeah, we are, uh, it's all about money. We're going to get you some money. So um, the first of the ways is to fire Matt. Uh, <laughs> and that is definitely not true. Um, it's, uh, this is the um, story brand keynote address. And we'll tag on to that a little bit of a workshop. So Story brand, which I talk about, is based on seven story principles. Um, this keynote walks through why that's important, what we do about it, shows us how we're wasting money on the things we are doing currently in our marketing. Uh, what I love about this is you are going to walk away with a few paradigm shifts that you can use right away. Story brand, the seven part framework will immediately work even if you adopt a few of the little things in a hacked sort of way. The best way to do it, obviously, is to hire me and Matt to overhaul all your marketing and then you get way more marketing um, benefit for the dollars you're spending. So you're stopping wasting money on ineffective marketing or wasting time. So we are going to go through what those seven things are. Um, and help you save money on your marketing, help you make your marketing more effective. And uh, there's going to be a few nuggets in there that you will be able to change on your way out the door that are going to start uh, changing your uh, results that you're going to see. That's awesome. Uh, October 30th, we're back with the Monday morning hot seat. Probably a different group, probably more people this time. Definitely not the same business as the first time. Um, I should. I want to say this earlier to follow up the Trump thing. We are in talks for the Monday morning hot seat to have one of the biggest retailers, realtors in Kawartha Lakes, be on the hot seat for that first September 25th one. Um, come check that one out. Come check the one out October 30th if you want to be the person in the hot seat. Like if you've got some hot problem that you need fixed and you need to talk it through with a bunch of business owners, this is your opportunity. What if it's just hot goss? It could be hot goss. It could be hot tea, whatever is necessary. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> awesome. I think it's uh, something we want to do on a recurring basis. Um, I've been in parts of lots of coaching programs. Hot seats are part of it. There's mm. people who pay thousand bucks a month just to have access to a hot seat. And we're going to start doing one locally for Kawartha Small Businesses. We talked about charging and like probably more than any of the other events a lot of these are a couple of these are free a couple of these are 10 bucks a couple of these cost you lunch they're um, minimal costs i think to pay for the space and yeah um we talked about this one being pretty expensive but i also want to test this idea out because i think it's amazing and i think it's got legs yeah. to it uh let's just get some people in here and used to it and we're going to do one of those every month like september october and oh, november yeah. so november 9th we've got three reasons your email marketing sucks and how to fix it um we've got something to be announced on the week of november 16th uh the week of our uh, sorry on november 23rd you're doing get cash now and then november 27th monday morning hot seat again uh, November 9th, I'm doing three reasons your email marketing sucks and how to fix it. We spend so little time thinking about email marketing that we are losing an outrageous amount of money on it. It's the activity that's going to create the largest ROI for you because the people that we are emailing already know who we are, probably have already bought from us, maybe already love us. And we just have to remind them that we exist. We assume that people are going to remember that we exist. That is not true. Um, we also think that email marketing is this gross, disgusting thing because we see how poorly it's done on the yeah. regular. Um, I can show you and I will explain to you in detail why it sucks, but I will explain to you in detail how you can make yours actually effective to get sales right away. 
without even getting into like some of the nitty gritty of like I'm writing uh, emails for you, but just like the structure and the plan of it and like open your mind to it. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's going to be another one that will change your business. Absolutely. And then November 23rd, you are getting people cash now. I am. That's a bold, aggressive title. Um, that was yours. I didn't change it. No, I know. Yeah. I guess that was part of me is like, oh, I, I made you that. wrote that. <laughs> you also kept get cash, and then now is all capitals for everybody oh, yeah. with an exclamation mark. Exclamation I didn't even change mark. it. Oh, I Maybe can't. Jess did, but I don't know. I think anyways, it was funny. Yeah, I think it, <laughs> it's fine. It's uh, trying to you know be controversial. We we'll see if people think it's gimmicky. Um, again, kind of like with every event, there's. What I want to make sure I'm really clear about, and I think I've always done this without saying it, but like I want you to leave knowing how you're getting some cash. Um, this event is going to be um, the uh, how to grow your small business, thinking about your business as an airplane. Uh, we're going to focus in on a few things that I have seen people immediately, like the next day as they're walking out the door, start getting some results quicker once that's in your mind. Um, so we're going to go through those six parts of the framework and I, you know, you're going to walk out with something that's going to just get you a result quickly. And one of my favorite things is when I've gone through this with people and then they tell me a story about like how it worked immediately. So that's what this one is. Um, it's maybe the softest um, in terms of focus with the most aggressive title. So nice. That's awesome. I'm excited about that. Yeah. So those are the events that are going to change your business this fall uh, business event every week that actually benefits your business that we have hosted by actual real business owners. The goal to, is to learn something to make your business money this fall. This event is for you. If you've been in business a few years or more, um, and you're someone that wants to go to a business event uh, that actually will make you money after you leave it. So not to drag on the idea of other events, but that's September, October, November. In December, we're going back with um, free Santa pictures. We've got the holiday open house. January, we've got the bridal show with a bunch of local vendors. February, we've got the golf show, which is new with a bunch of local vendors. So a lot of cool things for businesses going on. That's awesome. Where can the people find it? Uh, head to www.thriveonkent.com. Uh, there's a, a link in the top of the website, the bottom of the website, um, or come by 18 Kent Street West. Check out some of the posters and, and go from there. Awesome. All right. Well, that... Uh, that is our episode. If you would like to be on the podcast, if you want to talk to either of us, you can reach out at set it up at Co-Ortha Small Business Podcast.ca.